In today's video, we are going to go through free tools you can use for your keyboard research and niche selection. If you haven't been here before, my name is Anna and I'm here to help you create high quality, low content KDP books in the simplest way. As always, before we start, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell. Thank you. In today's video, we are going to go through free tools that I personally use to find my next niche and select my keyboards. If you follow my channel, you probably already watched my previous video about the top 7 free tools for designing your interior. If not, I will leave the link at the end of this video. So every time I want to start a new niche, I ask 4 questions. If I can answer all of them positively, that means that niche is worth my time and money. So the first thing I want to know is if the customers are already searching for that book. So to answer that question, I simply go to amazon.com and search the phrase I'm looking for. For example, let's search for dot to dot book. If as you're typing, Amazon auto suggests the niche you're looking for, then you know people have actually searched for these exact keywords. And since a big proportion of the search come from Google search, I have this tool called Keyword Surfer, which will give me the estimated monthly Google search volume for my keyword. This is an extension which you can install on your Chrome or Edge browser. And let me show you how it works. So once you install the extension, go to Google and search your keyword. And after a couple of seconds, on your search bar, you can see it gives us the estimated monthly Google search volume. So make sure your niche has at least 1000 search per month. On top right hand, you also see a table which you can change the location to the marketplace you're selling on. And you can also see all the related keywords search on Google. But I usually use another tool for my keyword selection, which I will show you in a few minutes. So make sure Amazon automatically suggests the keyword you're typing and on Keyword Surfer, you have more than 1000 search per month. The next thing I want to know is if there is any other similar book on market or not. The reason why I want to make sure there are already at least three similar books on the market is because it's a lot easier to find a market and then serve that market rather than creating a market from scratch. So far we know people are actually searching for this book and there is already a market on Amazon and now we want to make sure people are actually buying similar books on Amazon. In a nutshell, we want to make sure there is a reasonable demand for this kind of book. So we can find the number of sales per month for each book with the Amazon bestsellers rank. The lower the product's BSR, the better it sells. So in an ideal niche, you can find books with a BSR of 1000 or less. So to get to BSR, I have to click on each book, which is very time consuming. So to save time, I use another extension called Self Publishing Titans, which again, you can install on your browser, which will give us the BSR and other information right on the main page. So let me show you how it works. Install your extension, go to Amazon and search for your niche. Give it a couple of seconds and you can see it will give you a summary of the book on a mini box on top. And if you want to see how much a specific book makes, go to TCK Publishing and enter the BSR there. And lastly, the fourth question is if you can beat the competition or not. So as you can see, self-publishing Titans has a niche estimator feature, which based on average BSR and the level of competition will assign a score to each keyword 
As a rule of thumb, a good niche will have a score of 63% or more. You can also find other useful information like average BSR and average number of reviews up here. So for a good niche, we are looking for a score of 63 or more, number of results of 1000 or less, and BSR of 10k or less. I still have two other tools that I'd like to introduce. The first one is Amazon Suggestion Expander, which as the name indicates, when you search on Amazon, will give you instant suggestions. This is a great tool for finding a smaller market. For example, if I search for dot to dot book, the score is 47%. And if I niche it down to dot to dot book difficult, which is suggested with this tool, our score will improve to 58%. You can even niche this down even more to maybe dot to dot book difficult for adults and improve your score. So you want to go through these four questions for each of your niche ideas until you find one or a few that you want to pursue even further. You can save the rest of the list for your next round of book creation. But if you have one or three ideas that seem promising, it's time to move forward. So going forward, I'm going to show you how I would also find and choose my keywords. So technically, you will use these keywords at the very last step when you're publishing your book on KDP platform. But it's important to find and choose your keyword before actually creating the book. So when I want to create a new book, First, I have an idea. For example, I know I can create a dot to dot book, but I don't decide which type of dot to dot book yet. So after my niche research, if I decided this will actually worth my time, I do a keyword research and based on which keyword repeats more, I decide on type of my book. So for keyword research, I use a website called keywordtool.io. The reason why I use this website is because it gives you both Google and Amazon keywords and you can also change the location here. So if I search for habit tracker book, you can see we get lots of results both on Google and Amazon tab. I can also exclude keywords like PDF, download or free here and filter my search with a specific word like planner, daily, or for kids. Okay guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. And let me know in comments if you had any question and if you like me review and introduce more tools and websites. In the end, if you liked this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also smash that notification bell. See you all on the next video and bye-bye.